What's going on everyone? It's your boy Savvy and welcome back to the Savvy Show. And in today's episode, it seems like we might have an older SCP on our hands. Um, I'm not too sure what it might be about, but you know, like always, we're gonna dive deep. So without any further ado, this one is, you will never make it to SCP-084, Static Tower. Hmm. Wow, I mean, I can't really infer anything from that. Besides it just being a static tower, I wouldn't know what it would be actually about. Like, you will never make it. What does that even entail? But um, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. So with that being said, if you guys are excited for this reaction, please remember to smash that like button. Also, let me know what you guys thought about this reaction and this SCP in the comment section below. I love chatting with you guys like always. Y'all know the vibe. And also, again... I always forget to plug in almost all my videos, but I do have a Patreon, guys. That is where, if you guys have suggestions, which most of you guys do, hit me up there if you guys are able to become a patron, and then I could actually look at them since I have my own list of ones I want to react to, along with other requests on Patreon. So if you guys want something to be covered sooner than later, that is one avenue that you guys could dive deep in if you're able to. I'd love to have you and see you on that side of things. So without any further ado, there's nothing left to be said. Let's get this show started. Alrighty, you'll never make it to SCP-084, Static Tower. Let's go. It seems that nearly every small town has one place you're always told to avoid. Maybe it's an out-of-commission water tower, or an old power plant that's blocked off with a large fence that your parents warned you time and time again never to go anywhere near. But of course, the words caution, danger of death, or private property often seem like less a warning and more like a challenge to a bored kid living in a small town. No, I never thought that was a challenge. I'm just being honest. When I was a little kid and I saw those signs, yeah. I never thought about hopping the fence over there and seeing what it's about. <laughs> That must be a different kind of generation or a different upbringing, but I definitely didn't follow suit with that logic. In this instance, the place beyond the chain link fence you're not supposed to cross is a local radio station, a towering transmitter that looks like a huge needle pointed at the sky. On those long walks home from school, you were always tempted to climb over the fence just to get a closer look at the tower. What? And those fences, like... <laughs> The way they designed it, they have spikes, so how would you even hop over it without getting cut? Like, especially if you see fences like this, you never even think about hopping over it, unless you're actually... Y'all know what I'm thinking, but, um, <laughs> that's just wildin'. If you were quick enough, you could dash back over and no one would ever know. Then one day, you throw caution to the wind and ignore all the warnings. Oh my god. Because what's life without a little bit of adventure? You cross the metal fence to go and investigate the radio tower. But somehow, the closer you step, the further away it seems to be. Oh. You walk and walk, but still never get closer. How much time has passed? Has it been hours, days, oh my god. even months? Before you know it. You spend 10 long years walking in circles, trying every which way just to visit the tower. As it turns out. Does he not realize how long he's actually walking? Like, is time warping within his own mind? Because it's going further and further away, we get that. But um, does he think it's not as long as what is actually happening in reality? Because who would just keep on walking for 10 years? <laughs> What? You probably should have paid attention to all the warning signs. Yeah, you should have. Contained behind a perimeter fence is SCP-084, or also as it is known among Foundation staff, the Static Tower. Exactly what is transmitted from SCP-084 is intriguing, but also highly disturbing. Researchers working for the SCP Foundation have found that they are unable to properly examine the static tower, as anyone that gets within a 100 meter radius of SCP-084 suffers from various anomalous effects. It seems that SCP-084 is able to transmit a radio frequency or possibly even a form of radiation of unknown origin. Wow. This emission appears to have an adverse effect on the space and time of the local area. This distortion has a limited radius, only reaching an active area that surrounds the static tower in a dome shape. Anything contained within this dome will both witness and experience the alterations that SCP-084 causes. Interesting, so I'm assuming that the SCP Foundation just built a site around this SCP. I know they do that with some SCPs that are just like, you know, too difficult to bring into the foundation. So this would be a great candidate for SCP to just build around and observe. 
The most commonly occurring of SCP-084's different effects is that the tower appears to teleport at random intervals. Wait, what? Able to disappear from one location and reappear at another. Never mind! Sometimes the static tower will even appear to materialize in several locations at once, not staying quite as static as its nickname would suggest. It does seem to be wow. limited to the field it was discovered in. But wherever in that space SCP-084 jumps to, the dome-shaped active area around it will also move, keeping the tower at its center. Dang. Due to the space and time warping effects it emits, the static tower is impossible to reach, either on foot or through the use of any type of vehicle. Any attempts to get close enough to examine the tower have ended the same. The space within the surrounding dome appears to be unlimited meaning that SCP-084 stays at a relative distance, as if it was always stuck on the horizon. No matter how long someone travels towards it, days, weeks, months, or even years, the static tower will remain out of reach. One man that the Foundation encountered with an SCP-084's area of effect had apparently been trying for six years to reach the tower, traveling miles upon miles but never getting any closer. Additionally, wow. the tower cannot be destroyed. The Foundation has already attempted a number of conventional methods of destruction, but these have similarly never been able to reach SCP-084. This is kind of weird. So it seems like it's actually in real time, like six years has passed since they've been walking to each of this tower. So if that's the case, how are they still alive? If they've been doing this for like 10, six years, would you need any food? You wouldn't need any water? I know it might not be possible because obviously we don't live in the SCP universe, but still, I hope they make that make sense. Even if a projectile is launched from outside the active area dome that surrounds the tower, it will never hit its intended target. The static tower can warp nearby space around it, almost in self-defense. That's insane. Distances can randomly extend or contract, causing the tower and its two small outbuildings to suddenly teleport away in order to avoid incoming damage. Bro. During the Foundation's lengthy and ongoing observation this of is the cool. static tower, a vast number of anomalous occurrences have taken place. Among those documented by the SCP Foundation, centuries and researchers is the bizarre behavior of any animal spotted nearby. Ooh. Very few can actually be found within the active area dome, and any scene beyond the dome's threshold appears to instinctively know to avoid it. Any animals that do happen to appear within the area surrounding SCP-084 will exhibit a very strange behavior. Animal senses. Their movement shudder or repeat in loops like a gif. So they're These glitching? abnormalities suggest that they are not real animals, but merely strange copies with only a limited, repetitive pattern of movement that ends when they disappear after three to four hours. Speech what? also seems to be affected when someone is within the dome with a number of reports describing vocal communication being muffled when inside the area around the static tower. Other times when people stand apart, their voices begin to echo, with words usually being heard several seconds after they are uttered by the speaker, or even after they have stopped speaking altogether. Within the active area dome around the static tower, the local environment also seems to be affected by the tower's anomalous properties. Rain, snow, hail, or sudden heat waves will occur seemingly at random, and usually the weather within the dome is completely different to that outside. What? The sky will flicker and blur between different states as well, shifting from day to night, or clear to cloudy at a moment's notice. Additionally, no damage can be done to the environment around SCP-084. Even digging up the ground will cause the Earth to reset itself. Situated near the field where SCP-084 can be found is a small township. However, this location is only visible to anyone that finds themselves within the active dome around SCP-084. Oh, so and when you're in there, you're lost. And when you're in there, you can never reach that place because it's right next to the tower, right? Wouldn't that move away just like the tower? And also, if you're in the dome, say you get that you can't reach it, are you able to turn back? Like, would you be able to, like, walk out of the dome? Or would that be, like, going farther away from, from you, too, for some reason? Or would this SCP not let you, like, turn back? It has been speculated that this town was part of the local area and may have existed before the static tower first manifested, but that it has since become subjected to the tower's distortion of reality. Damn, According to further it. investigations, the town has an unchanging population. Only 343 people reside there. No more 
and no less. It appears that new births are impossible and cannot occur within the town. In much the same spirit, nobody living there can die. Any attempts at homicide result in dead persons flickering before being returned to life seconds after dying. Okay, wow. No, this is this is this is actually kind of wild. <laughs> this is actually kind of crazy now. Okay, I thought like maybe they would just die off, and these are just like you know glitches in the matrix. It is not really actually humans because like they said with the animal, they were like glitching. They find out that it's not even an actual animal, and they disappear within like you know three hours. But <laughs> these are humans that are actually immortal within this dome. If, is that the case for just them because the dome transported to a place where there's already people in that location compared to some people that's trying to move into where the dome's at? Would they still get that immortality? <laughs> oh, wow. There have also been reports from this town of events reversing, almost as if time rewinds. This has most notably occurred when any town resident suffers a fatal accident or receives an extreme wound of some kind. Dang. When this happens, the affected individual will be able to witness their injury visibly freeze and then reverse itself. Cuts close, and bones reset all on their own. People within the dome, like the residents of the nearby town, will sometimes exhibit spontaneous blurring, their arms, legs, or heads shuddering violently at impossible speeds. Despite this being physically impossible without injury, the subject seen in real life. usually remains unaware of this and feels no pain from the sudden gyration. Much like the animals within the dome, human beings will also get stuck in isolated time loops, repeating simple actions without being able to control themselves. But would they disappear though after a few hours, just like the animals? Because it seems like they're not because, you know, they're immortal. Someone might freeze after walking through a door, flickering out of existence for a split second, only to appear at their original starting point and walk through the same door again. According to the findings of the Foundation researchers, the town residents living within the vicinity of SCP-084 no longer have basic human needs. They don't get hungry or starve, okay. they cannot be dehydrated, and don't even sleep thanks to being trapped within the static tower's area of effect. Okay, so that makes sense about the people that's been walking for 6 to 10 years. They don't need food or water. Now, okay, that's what I like. It's actually making sense. At random moments, townsfolk will be able to phase through solid matter, walking <laughs> through walls or phasing through floors. This effect seems to last for brief periods of time, but can often have catastrophic results. Any passing through a surface or object when this period ends will often end up stuck until the effect reoccurs. Being unable to die, this does not kill these individuals, and instead they end up painfully fused with solid matter. One person even found themselves trapped in a wall from the waist down for two whole years. Long-term exposure to SCP-084 and its deadly. various anomalous effects have caused the 343 residents of the nearby town untold amounts of harm and distress. One can only dread to think of their collective psychological state, having to live life in an undetectable bubble, getting stuck in time loops, repeating mundane actions over and over again, phasing through surfaces only to find themselves stuck in place. These unlucky souls have no means of reprieve or means of escape. All information regarding SCP-084 has to be documented on paper, as electronic devices such as cameras, phones, computers are unable to properly function and record while inside the static tower's area of effect. What the Any heck? audio or video playback devices, such as radios or camcorders, often detect bizarre and unsettling transmissions. It is unknown if these originate from the tower itself, though or are just the result of using electronics within the active area surrounding it. Probably the dome that engulfs this town area. with SCP-084 at its center has left the area completely isolated from the world. It is because of this that there is little the SCP Foundation can do to contain the static tower True. other than to wait and watch. Personnel are instructed not to attempt any interaction with SCP-084, and instead the tower has been placed under round-the-clock surveillance to monitor any changes and observe any anomalous effects it may cause. The Foundation hopes to divert any unwanted civilian attention away from the area. There are no roads or publicly accessible routes leading to SCP-084 or the nearby town, 
and Foundation security will detain anyone that somehow finds their way headed towards the static tower. Okay, so I was thinking in the beginning this would be Euclid, but after I found out that it could just teleport willy-nilly whenever it wants to, it has to be Keter. There's like no other way about it. So them saying that they're built, like they're like surveilling it, they're only doing that until it actually like disappears and then they have to find the location again. So in turn, they never actually um, contain this SCP, pretty much. Only with full permission of two O5 council members are researchers and other Foundation personnel permitted to enter the dome. Sentry teams provide additional security and are stationed nearby within the tower's line of sight. These units have to be near enough to see the tower with their own eyes, as even viewing SCP-084 through binoculars or telescopes makes the tower appear fuzzy and out of focus. Yo, that's All crazy. electronic devices, including radios, televisions, cell phones, video or photo cameras, global positioning systems, are banned from the vicinity of SCP-084. This is done in hopes of avoiding any unwelcome interference from the tower's reality warping frequency. Yeah. Any civilian in the nearby area carrying any of these devices or attempting to record SCP-084 by any means will have their electronics confiscated and their recordings destroyed. Good. Given that no one can get close enough or even examine it from a distance with binoculars or other implements, there exists no detailed description of what's inside SCP-084. So I wonder if the field, the force field around it is actually visible because from their own eyes, from what we're seeing, it looks like it is. But we don't know if they're just showing that to us as viewers where the field is at. Because it could be invisible to them until they actually, you know, get inside the field. All that is known about its physical makeup is what can be seen from a distance, that it is a solitary radio tower. The SCP Foundation has, as of yet, also been unable to determine the exact nature of what is being transmitted by SCP-084. Does the static tower send out a frequency so powerful that it can warp space and time? And if so, is the tower itself sentient? Or was it designed by someone for exactly this purpose? I believe it's definitely sentient because honestly, the way it's moving, teleporting right when it sees danger. I mean, I guess it could be designed, but like who, who would even design something like this? Unless it's like a god or something, but I feel like it's just a sentient SCP. Whatever the answer is, we would recommend keeping your distance from this hazardous site. Perhaps it would be best to abide by the warning signs for the time being. After all, you'd hate to wander too far and not be able to make your way back. Yeah. Now check out SCP-823 Carnival. All right, and it's over. And you'll be just wandering forever too. Because technically, you don't need water, food, and supposedly when you're in it, you don't die. I don't know if it's just for the town people, but if the town people have the same situation where literally you don't need food or water, I'm assuming the people that get into the field, even if they're not there prior to the tower being there, they will still probably heal their injuries and keep on walking because dudes were doing it for 10 years and six years. So man, that was, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know what to expect with this SCP, but um, just to see how crazy it is and how just untouchable it is, it's, it's pretty wild. It's up there for me, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this SCP and what are some of your guys' hypotheses about what this SCP origin might be about. You know, if do you think it's created or do you think it's Satan? So um, I hope to hear you guys all in the comment section below. And also remember to smash that like button if you did enjoy this reaction. And hit that bell and stay plugged for each and every upload. And remember, tune in on Patreon if you want to join that side of things, if you want to support the channel even more and suggest certain videos for me to dive deep in. So with that being said, unfortunately that ends today's episode. However, I'll catch you guys on the next one.